This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2023 Heartland the Bighorn fifth wheel. And the model number is 3880 MD. Okay, so this is not a floor plan, it's a how to video. So I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? First of all, you have a three point leveling system. So you have three jacks on each side for a total of a six point leveling system for, for a total of six. Um, that is operated from right here. Uh, you just turn it on. I know you can't see very well right from here, but the main thing is auto level is the most common thing you're going to use. Um, and if you, if you uh, uh, go into scroll up here, auto hitch height, uh, push enter to begin. Auto hitch height is the second most common. So auto hitch, hitch height, <laughs> auto hitch height is the position the trailer was in right before you auto leveled it. So uh, you, you pull up, you pull into the campground, you unhook your tow vehicle, and then you auto level it. Well, it remembers where it was at right before you auto leveled it. That's called auto hitch height. So in a perfect world, when you uh, after you, when you're getting ready to leave the campground, you just put push auto hitch height, and you should be able to slide right underneath it or pretty darn close, and, and go from there. So those are the two most common. You can read up more about it, obviously, but uh, you could also operate them manually, right? Um, you can you can retract all, but be careful because the nose the nose will dive also. So if you retract them all, the nose is going to go down very low. Make sure you don't have anything under the front of it. Okay, so that's a six-point leveling system. You have a power awning here, of course, with LED strip. Uh, this has a um, solar panel, so uh, this is your solar controller right here. Uh, we have 13.7 volts, right? Uh, uh, um, kilo, that's kilowatt hours, that's storage. Um, right now we're gaining 2.6 amps. You see the picture of the solar panel here? The arrow pointed that way to the battery, so it's telling us right now um, we're gaining uh, uh, 2.6 amps from the sun. That'll change throughout the day, obviously, depending on the, the weather conditions, the position of the, the sun in the sky, that sort of thing. So, uh, it also says we're 100% charged, so that's, this is telling you what's happening with the solar panel and the 12-volt system, okay? All right. So, on this side, let me open it here, open. you have two 30-pound uh, LP tanks, one on each side. Uh, here, you have your hydraulics here, there's your tank. You have two kill switches here, right? This is the power inverter, so the inversion is taking 12-volt DC and, and inverting it to 110 AC. So this inverter is set up to run your refrigerator, like when you're pulling the vehicle down the road, or that your tow vehicle is pulling the trailer down the road. Um, it'll invert the 12 volts out of the batteries. You have two batteries in here wired together at 12 volts. It still outputs 12 volts, just doubles the storage capacity. So um, while you're doing that, this will be inverting that 12 volts into a uh, 12 volts DC into 110 AC and then sending it to your refrigerator for example to keep it to keep it uh, going okay of course the uh, tow vehicle will be charging your batteries the alternator on your tow vehicle plus your solar panel depending on the weather conditions and the position of the Sun and um, so you're in good shape there um, so you have two batteries two kill switches your hydraulics and your inverter right in there all right these are both storage. One, one is prepped for a, looks like it's prepped for a generator. Your, your other, uh, let's make sure here. Yeah, your other tank is there. This is your, um, your uh, dump hose. This is your sprayer right here. It's got a quick connect. Of course, that's a cap. This needs to be, still needs to be vacuumed out a bit here. Okay, so you get over your water here, and basically you're going to hook up your uh, your uh, city water hose right here. So if you've got a regular city water hookup, you just put the hose right on there. 
you will put the, the valves in the city water position. You look at the four valves and the position they're in, so you would be like that. So that, therefore you would be, and you have city water, therefore you, in that position everything will run off city water. Now if you wanted to fill the tank and pump the water out of the tank, let's say you're camping someplace without city water, you would put it into a tank fill to begin with, which would be this position, right? That'll fill the tank. Um, and then when you want to pump it, you would go to this position, these, with the valves this position, so on and so forth. You have winterizing and sanitizing also. Your quick connect sprayer hooks right into there. Uh, this is a black tank flush here, so after you dump your black tank, you can leave the valve open like it says on the sticker here, and put the hose of the dump station on here and you'll be able to uh, uh, flush out your black tank really well. Uh, you have uh, power here, plus you have your campground cable and satellite through. You have a water filter canister, um, if you want to use a, a carbon block filter. And these are your, your, your two gray and your black tank valves here. So it's very simple. Um, next to it you have an on-demand water heater. The switches are inside the trailer, but you just, it opens like any other water heater. You're just going to pull it loose there and, you, and uh, your, your water heater's inside. It's on-demand so you get non-stop water, okay? Uh, that's your furnace uh, vent right there. You got a 50 amp system, so you got your 50 amp uh, uh, power cord, which is plugged in right here. Now the when it comes to your reel, you pull it out, but it auto re it power retracts. So you physically pull it out, but then to retract it, you push the button. Okay. Also, uh, you're pre-wired for a backup camera up there, and a ladder if you want to if you'd like to purchase those. Uh, sometime down the road. Also while you're looking up, make sure the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 60 days. So you want to look at the roof, make sure there's no damage by low branches or anything to the roofing materials or the roofing attachments. Make sure there's no cracking or sealing at the um, um, sealant. Okay, just give it a good inspection to stay ahead of things. That should be part of your general maintenance. This is your power converter here. Converter is the opposite of an inverter. This takes 12 volt DC, or excuse me, this takes a 110 AC and converts it to 12 volt DC. The inverter goes just the opposite, right? This is also a battery tender, so when you're plugged in, this will also keep your batteries charged up. All right. Your thermostat works like any other thermostat. It's pretty basic, uh, or pretty standard, I should say. You just keep hitting the mode button. This is your on-demand water heater right here. This is a, a remote for your, your power uh, vent with a, with a lid on it, so it's all powered, so you don't have to get up on a ladder or anything. That's here. To turn your, your power inverter on, you push this button in. That's how you would turn it on. Um, Yeti pack, these are tank heaters, so you can extend your camping season. It has heating pads on all the holding tanks. Of course, you have lights here. Um, you have your slide room, slide rooms, you have your on and extend here, ceiling fan, all of your lights here, uh, your water pump is right here, on and off. That's used to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. It's also used to winterize the trailer. Uh, your water heater, the different uh, possibilities, but that's controlled over here, of course, on this one. So you have dummy plugs in there. And then, of course, your levels are all right here. So, it's very simple. Okay, um, center room is, is, uh, is uh, pretty straightforward. This, this couch here turns into a bed. It's a hide a bed also. All right. You have a, a leaf and you have extra, extra um, chairs. You'll have two extra chairs, I believe, under the bed. Let me make sure. Okay. Wow. Yes, so you have two extra chairs. So you can seat four. You have a loft here, of course. Okay. Uh, your, your theater seats have a heater. It has a vibration massager, a heater. You have automatically, automatically, 
recline and retract, so it has all that stuff. This also turns into a hide-a-bed here, so you have another place to sleep. You have a fireplace, which is a great space heater, plus you can adjust the look of it, that sort of thing. Your sound system, which is, uh, you have radio, plus you have, you can stream off a of USB, plus you have Bluetooth, um, and uh, you can go into the system with an HDMI. Also, you have different speaker zones. Uh, let's see which speaker zone. So you have, uh, let's see. Let me make sure I tell you the accurate stuff here. Okay, zones, okay, so, on the free Odyssey app, three zones, A, B, and C, so A would be this room, B would be the bedroom area, and C would be outside, okay? You have remotes for the fireplace and the uh, radio. And of course your TV has a televator, which is right here. Goes up and down. Okay. Which is neat. When it comes to your, your microwave, works like any other microwave. Uh, your range, uh, basically you're just going to spark it to light it. So. Um, this is your sparker here, so you're just going to put it to light and then you're going to spark it. It lights just like that. Same way with the oven. You also have lights on it. Okay. Refrigerator, like I said, it runs off, uh, it's, runs off AC power or AC inverter power from the batteries. Or if you're plugged in, it'll just run off campground power. Okay. Tony, I'm not, I'm not seeing the keys. Yep, I'll grab them. Okay, so the bathroom, uh, you, have a, you have a shower with a, it's got the two body spray jets on it and a regular shower plus a handset, really nice, so you could flip the seat down. Uh, when it comes to the toilet, it works like every other RV toilet, it sits directly over the black tank, so you have a flush pebble right there, so you can't use it dry. Uh, so when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, you'll come in here, you put a dose of chemical right in the bowl, then you'll step on the pedal, hold it down, till at least a gallon of water, along with the chemical, goes into the black tank below, then you can use it. If you use it dry and you don't use chemical and water, it'll get clogged up, plus the smell will be terrible, so you always want to use chemical and water first, um, if, if you have a, a dry black tank, okay? Alrighty. Um, this is pre-plumbed and wired for a washer dryer, stackable washer dryer or combo. Of course you have storage up here, wardrobe storage. Another thermostat for the air conditioning up here. This is your, your public Wi-Fi signal booster right here. So this is a, actually a router and then there's an antenna on the roof. So. Uh, you'll be able to, to hook up all your your family's devices, your phones and tablets, to this this gateway, and then you then when you get to the campground, you'll go to the proper web page, and you'll be able to hook this up to the to the campground Wi-Fi, for example. It's a really good signal booster. Um, it's you get a, just an excellent signal. It also has 5G. That's something you would have to look into if you're interested. You'd have to pay a monthly fee through whoever carrier you use, that sort of thing. But most people go for the 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 uh, signal booster for public Wi-Fi that works really well. Okay, alrighty. Let me look around here. See, you have a Nor TV hookups here. You always want to remember if you can see it. Yeah, you can barely see. It. There's a green light on there. I can shut it off, but you always want that green light on. That's the digital signal booster for the antenna. You won't get a good picture if you have it off. Okay, so I think that covers most of it. Let me just look around a little bit here. Like I said, your, the top panel here has fuses, 12-volt fuses. The bottom one has AC circuit breakers. And you do have a leaf that's built into here, and I, I mentioned the, uh, the um, two other chairs that are in the, uh, under the bed, so right there. You, also have, you can also charge your phones 
on these things here. I call them by the proper name, I just don't know it. So, <laughs> This is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green. If it's not, get it serviced. It's very important, obviously. If it goes off, uh, you shut off your appliances, take everybody outside, leave the door open, shut the gas off at the front, and figure out what's going on. If it beeps the same tone but really slowly, it's telling you your battery's low. So it tells you carbon monoxide and LP gas plus a low battery alarm. Okay? If it's not green, get the service. Okay, I think that covers it. Let me look around a bit here. I think we've got it. Okay, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please remember what I told you about inspecting the roof. You want to do that every 60 days or so. It should be a part of your regular maintenance. Um, people generally don't inspect the roof enough, so make sure you do that. And also, uh, right now, this is it's in camping mode. All, all the antifreeze has been purged from the system. It's been replaced with uh, fresh water and it's ready to go. Okay? Thank you.